so hello everyone this is the first day of our 30 days code forces series every day we will be solving one problem and that problem will be from 1500 and range and above so today's problem is dilute and kaya so without any further ado the problem link is in description simply go and click and read the problem for a while i will explain the problem statement but before that i would like you to read and interpret what do you understand from the problem statement so I'm waiting for a minute. Meanwhile, you can stop the video and read the problem statement. I hope you would have read the problem statement. And now we will go on the discussion. What is the problem actually asked for? So we will use the whiteboard for this. So the problem says, suppose you have a string. Now what you need to do is, how will you divide this string into pairs so that in each pair will contains the same ratio of d and k that is suppose you are trying to make one pair so you can have suppose here it is having d d k k so you are, you can make one pair with two d's and two k's similarly you can make two pairs having one d and one k so we will choose the one with the most number of pairs so here in the for this particular case we can see we can make two pairs each having 1d and 1k now this was about how you are going to make pairs in it now what the question has asked you to so the question has asked you to find such pairs for each prefix like for d then for dd and then for ddk which means first of all you need to find the pairs which can be made using only 1d so it is obvious that only one pair can be formed which will having 1d and 0k Similarly, when you are having 2D, again, it can form two pairs having 1D and 0K. So since there are two pairs, so both the D will be utilized and 0K will be there. Now, if you want to have DDK, you cannot have two pairs because if you will have two pairs, then one pair will consist 1D and 1K and the other pair will consist of 1D and 0K, which in are not same. You should have same in both the cases so you need to have you can have only one pair which is will be having 2d and only 1k so you can see in the first case you are having a pair of 1d and 0k so we will say to say that this pair is uh, coming for the first time now in the second case we see again the same thing is there 1d and 0k so have you seen such pair before yes it have we have seen it once so it here now it is appearing for the second time so we have storing the number 2 and similarly now here 2d and 1k have we seen such pairs before no so the answer will be 1 so the answer is 1 2 and 1 which you can see in the sample test case that the answer is 1 to 1 so how did we get the answer we just see how many d's and k's are need to be stored in order to get the required number of pairs and then we checked have any prefix got the same amount of d and k before if yes then we just added one more to it and stored to the answer so this was about the question now we will come to the approach how we can actually solve it so again you can take a moment to think about it how you can solve it and then we will solve try to solve the question okay i guess you would have tried the problem now let's try to look at the solution how can we actually solve the problem so to solve the problem what we will do is we will see for the interruption okay so what we can do is since we need to find the maximum number of pairs it means we need to find the minimum number of or uh, minimum divisor which divides both the number so how to find the minimum divisor the answer is obvious it is gcd so what we will do is we will maintain a count of d and a count of k maintain a count of d equal to 0 and k equal to 0 if you find d increase the count of d and similarly if you find k increase the count of k and then we will calculate the gcd to get the minimum number of divisors which means what is the minimum number of uh, L, minimum number of d and k we need to have what is the minimum number of d and k we need to have so that we can store it so how it will how it will be done simply let's start with the first thing first letter is d so number will be d equal to 1 now 1 and 0 will give you the gcd as equal to 1 again 
so the here it only gcd1 means only one pair will be formed one pair means d will be one and k will be zero because zero by one is one so here we are getting a pair of one comma zero which is suppose we are maintaining a hash map and it is not present in the hash map before so it is appearing for the first time so we will store the answer as one now we move to the second thing we got dd so we increase again the value of d by one now the gcd will be two since gcd is two it means two pairs will be formed if there are two gcds two pairs need to be formed and d is also two again it means d will be one and k will be again zero so we can see again the pair is one comma zero has you seen such pair in the map before yes it has occurred once so now it will be answer will be two similarly next time when we will come we will have the value of k as one so the gcd of two and one will give us the value of one so we can only form one pair since the gcd is one and if we want to form one pair we need to have 2d and 1k so it means we will be looking for the pair of two and one ha has this pair appear before in the hash map no so the answer will be one and this will lead us to the answer one to one similarly you can try for other test cases as well i hope you would have understood the solution now i will be moving to the solution sorry I, and it will be in cpp you can try it in java as well the solution will be quite same so what i have done is i have simply maintained uh, variables d and k as mentioned then i have used a map and in the map what i am doing is i am simply first checking if i equal to d then i am increasing the d and if else k and then i am calculating the gcd and then gcd is the number of pairs right so we need to check how many d and k are needed to be in each pair so to calculate that we have divided g by we have divided d by g and k by g so to get the number of a d and to get the number of b required and then we are looking for such pairs in the map we first of all incremented that hey this pair is required in this particular case and then for the previous cases we are just checking what is the number of case such cases exist before and then we are printing this so yeah this was a very simple problem so this is our 30 day series we will be taking 30 problems the problem link for the next day is available in the description so you can try that before tomorrow solution is updated hope you like the video if yes please like it and put in the comments what can be the improvements made in, can made can be made in the video thank you